Here's how I'm manifesting the woman of my dreams. I created an energy crystal box that contains all the features I look for in my dream woman. On the inside, I have crushed selenite and blue opaz. On the first of every month, I pour water over dry ice to energize all the crystals inside. I keep the crystal box in the corner of my yoga room. On top, I keep a letter written to my dream woman. Behind it, I keep a 639 hertz vibration to maximize manifesting potential. I make sure to keep the crystal box covered with a blackout cloth to protect it from outside energy. Nation, I think this is just modern day Wobia. <laughs> Nation, the entertainment feed community. Wagwan, we're there on the Friday at Fridays. Community members, enough love and blessings on the Friday. Hope you're doing all right. We're there once again with the NT News, the hot topics, the updates. With that said, on to the topics. Shana Chen, who is said to have recently been engaged. Well, here's her on TikTok. Mocked about being no deceased Gullibop one time partner. Ah, go away. Nobody know why we're Gullibop dead left. Go away. Move on, go away. Nobody know why we're Gullibop dead left. Your mother drain Lele water feet right now. It don't kill, it don't kill, it don't kill Gullibop already. I wouldn't want no more people feet killed. Remember, say a man should kill the body. Yeah. My God, I don't know about life. Yeah. After yeah. I don't kill him. Yeah. You see a fish undercover fish. Boy, boy, I don't want me to talk the truth. I don't want me to talk what the truth. What the fuck was? I don't want me to talk the you truth. Boy, girl. You're front of cemetery front. Boy, girl. Any man go there, so you can get lick off a bicycle and stick on there. I don't want you to give me no sick Thank you. Shana. That I just something me off going brace. You will forever be known as a Gullibop one time ex. You and Amari suggest embrace it. Do not feel away about it. Come on. Nation, on the 6th of February, we celebrated Bob Marley's birthday. But of course, Anna we the public alone, his family and friends celebrated his birthday as well. Cindy Breakspear. Anna should start from her because it seems as if her post is the cause of all of this. But on Bob Marley's birthday, she shared a few pictures of Bob with herself and Junior Gang, Bob Marley's only child with Cindy. Let us continue though, she shared those pictures with the caption stating, Bob, on what would have been your 79th birthday, I celebrate the incredible impact you've had globally, cherish our amazing son Damien and reminisce about the beautiful times he shared from 56 Oak Road to your mother's home in Delaware and Miami, New York, Oakley Street in London, the Bahamas, Trinidad and beyond. The memories are countless. But our love for you is endless. Happy birthday to the people's hero. Love and revered by all. On that same day, don't know if this was before Cindy's post or not. But still, on that same day, Rita Marley shared a song from she and Bob with the caption stating, Celebrating Bob's birthday today with this duet we did in 1970. Hold on to this feeling. Happy birthday at Bob. Love, love you. XO, XO, I think that is all about love. Gotta hold on to this feeling. Just a few hours ago, Ziggy Marley took to his social media where he made this post. He shared a picture of Rita Marley from back in the days. He shared that with the caption stating, When a woman take a bullet in her head because she loves and stand with you, and still shows up days after to stand by your side again, with no concern about her own safety, it does something to a man. It tells a man something he will never forget, and forever cherish a woman like that is impossible to find. One in a billion billion, at Bob Marley, hashtag ride or die wife, at Rita Marley, at one love movie. Ja! Love how Ziggy Marley big up his mother, although some people thought that post was a little strong. But we are continue though. In the comment section, Sharon Marley, she stated, The woman can walk in my mother's shoes. I think she wanted to say, no woman. And to prove that is what she wanted to say, no woman. The Tropics reshared Ziggy Marley's post. Sharon Marley basically made the same comments but corrected herself. No woman can walk in my mother's shoes. She is the real queen. Facts, not fiction. The real queen. Over to the comment section. Some people are bigger up while some people are born a fire, for example. I got the key stated, false, she was never the wife. Chrissy let go frozen, she stated, go curse your dad. More comments. Bob Nesta praise wrote, Rita Marley was there from day one with Bob. Cindy Post was not only disrespectful to his wife, but also their children. Next person stated, Cindy is a married woman who has kids after Damien. Her post about Bob Marley every year is too much for a married woman. Sweet P15 wrote, Cindy too much, can not imagine how she did terrible in her young days. Dear Diary of a Mad Jamaican Girl wrote, 
So in the careless like, you see white privilege is more in her face than we give it credit. Rita, a black maroon woman who helped Bob with his career and was a backup lead singer. She wasn't only his baby mother, she was his wife. He had many others and Cindy, just through your win Miss Jamaica World, you felt like you were special cause you had a baby like everyone else. Girl, go and love Rita, that's a queen and deserves 45% in royalties. You could never walk a mile in her shoes, how dare you, the audacity SMH. One bumble clock queen and Darita, as she endured the hardship, the beating, the abuse, sexually, the disrespect, everything. Love her, make she be celebrated. Next person stated, every year when I cuss Cindy and she still not care, laugh out loud. Trishani wrote, Cindy the original side chick, Rita the original Yamed. I don't think it should be a big deal whether or not Cindy breaks beer. Big up Bob on his birthday, you know. Sure love for Bob. I mean, it is clear as day that they had something and not only that. There is also a child involved. Well, he's a man right now, of course, but you get what I'm saying. But that is just my view on it still. The entertainment feed community, do share your thoughts on that moving on. I can remember we had this Exodus album. And he was doing this song that I found that he wrote about Cindy. So then he just met Cindy and so I'm saying, what? You write that song for Cindy and want me to sing it? I'm not singing. <laughs> and so I was stubborn. And I don't know why I did, but I was just saying that I'm going to show you something so that I can be myself. And so Master said, no, come with her, oh God, Bob, I'm going to be mad if you don't. And I says, I am not going. Turn your lights down low. American people, let me tell you something. Watch the Bob Marley One Love movie. Please. America spent a lot of money to make the movie. And they hired some great English actors. But I will comment on this picture here. Ziggy Marley said he wanted a Jamaican to play Bob Marley but couldn't find a suitable actor. Ziggy, you in charge of this. All right, I'll talk to you, Bridget. So you couldn't find a Jamaican actor for Bob. No problem. I made that slide. How about, could you find a Jamaican actor for Rita Marley? Or how about, could you find a Jamaican actor for Peter Tosh? Could you find a Jamaican actor for... Or no, no, better yet. Could you find a Jamaican actor for Sydney Breakspear? Because the lady that you are having playing Sydney Breakspear have less than 4,000 followers on our Instagram when I personally know a Jamaican with over 600,000 followers on TikTok alone that could have played Sydney Breakspear. But I'm not going to call her name. I'm going to throw me card, but I'm not going to call her blood clot foul. I know even people that were passed off for Peter Tosh. Benjamin, no, no, Jamaican will own a pass off. You did put two Jamaicans in some big roles. One was a white Jamaican, his name is Nesta, and you made him an Australian reporter. Big up Naomi Cowan, you're doing the thing, I went to school with you and your brother, you probably don't remember me. But let me explain something deeper than the Bob Marley movie. I'm going to talk about Jamaica selling out. The Bob Marley movie might attract people to the island for tourism. Most of the hotels are owned by foreigners. So that sold out. The box site sold out. Our land, our water, we sell out. Our electricity, we sell out. The people that own the rights to Bob Marley sell out. Bob Marley does not need Kingsley Ben Adair to sell big. Nobody is going to that movie because of Kingsley Ben Adair. I promise you that. They're going to watch Bob. So you, I tell you, you feel, lose, you feel lose sleep over this. I hope to God every time you count your money. When you count your big old check them. And your royalties coming in from that money. You sell out. You know, sell out Jamaica. Bad. Jamaica. You mean to tell me say. Jamaica. The country where give you reggae music. That spawned into hip hop music. The country where give you dancehall music. That spawned into reggaeton. Cannot hold paramount attention. Do you see how much millions of views people like me get online? Do you see how much millions of views Jamaicans get online? We blood clad take over TikTok. But you can't give in a movie. And Paramount come with for them monkey money and go on with it. Look what them do shutters. <laughs> nah, so don't tell after that. I go watch a movie. Yeah, I go watch it. I promised myself I wasn't gonna get vexed, but you know I'm I'm sick and tired of it. 
Where where is Jamaica's film industry? Where where is it? In the ninety, let me tell you people. Let me tell you. Let me share something. In the nineteen nineties, Jamaica got stigmatized, and because of that, many reggae artists missed the boat, and a lot of opportunities they were gonna have. That same sentiment reverberates today, in twenty twenty four, where they don't want to give. Jamaica for them views, but they'd be more than happy to take Jamaican stories. Go on. Go on, do nothing. Event host and dance and artist Kamala Latouche. She was one of the hosts that seen Clash. She tried to set the fight with Fully Pad and Anarmosity. Still, she was recently featured on Tea Time Talk with Shelly. And she basically spoke about the unfairness when it comes to event grants and time given to events. She's stating that events like Sting, Sons, even Popcorns and Ruli Fest that is doing so much for the community, Sting, Sons and a bunch of other events that are bringing foreigners, those events should be given more time as some countries around the world take away culture, take away style, take away bumbo cloth and I build 24 hours event with its full celebration and so on. Still, check out the clip. This is much deeper than just Sting because mm -hmm. we have Reggae Sun Fest, we which have... Is, which we, they're very much... Okay, we have Rebel Salute. Right. Okay. Which now they are almost there. Some not... some fest ah. went to uh, around eight thirty, eight thirty last year, eight thirty. Um, Rebel Salute. But they had a time, right? Rebel Salute time. this year, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to get to that. Rebel Salute this year, they didn't get to. Um, I think two acts, two acts didn't get to perform. Right. My artist, then Louis you Culture did. Right. Then you have mm -hmm. Sting. Now mm -hmm. listen, Shelley McQuarrie. Yeah. Zayn. How much shows across the world having festival using reggae, using our brand, dancehall and reggae, our own dialect, which you call, they have the blood um, something, you know what I'm talking about, that festival, you know mm -hmm. that, that thing, and that is our, that is our word where we use, that is our word that a lot of foreigners want to hear. And when they want to feel Jamaican, mm -hmm. that is the word that they use to express themselves. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong or am I right? You're right. Okay, so what I'm saying, we have major shows here in Jamaica. Um, let us categorize the shows, mm -hmm. okay? And the ones that can bring in certain numbers, let us do this. Let us give them a different time, time frame. Yeah. You have a place in Mexico, mm -hmm. right? The street is always alive. Music from 24 hours the music never stops mm -hmm. right we have our entertainment zones mm -hmm. okay so if we have our entertainment zones which we are not affecting um the the persons who do their nine to five or the traffic on the road or mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. like that right so we have sons we have um chilling in the farm we have oh, an yes. ati hold on just to mm -hmm. name a few we have some new ones that are doing well umbrella among others, we have mm -hmm. the, the, the main see, stage shows. Hold on, shows. I need to, since you're big up, I'm going to want to big up, what the one, I'm going to want to big up my friend in, in the grill. What for them own name? The um, the, 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 the painter party? No, in the grill, the series. It's, um, um it's, oh, it's not BRT week, no, 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 no. it's, um. And Jada, they panic, no, Jada just get. Then a dream. Dream, big up dream. dream. Yes. No, ATI, no, it's a long story. It, Lord no. Jesus of his mercy. Yeah, yeah. No, really but, and truly. Okay. So we'll get the point. We'll get the, we'll so, get the so point. So I'm saying we have these shows. Look at Sons. What happened with Sons? Um, right? Some, per, I, some persons, they were disgruntled. Why? They didn't really get to enjoy the show. You know what I'm saying? Everybody looks forward for Sons. And it has the right name because the people, them come like Sun, Sun Green. Sun okay. Green, yeah. Look at what happened at Unruly Fest. Right? And we're talking about an international artist. Right? Um, this should not ever happen because we have so many eyes looking, looking on in on us, us to, see, well, on, uh, to see what next is coming from the Caribbean. Not even the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. What next is coming from Jamaica? Remember, Bob Marley set the trend yes. already for us. So people are looking at us. Look at what happened with Steph London and, and Jada Kingdom. You know what happened immediately after that? You know, see Nicki Minaj and, 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 and uh, Megan Thee Stallion are war. You know, and, see and, 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 and Eminem and Benzino are war. 
You understand what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, exactly. So when you see these things are happening now, let's protect the culture. Okay. First thing, six o'clock isn't good enough. Let's call a spade a spade. All right. It now will start nine o'clock. Right? People are going to go to them early party and then reach there. So, so by 12 o'clock, you have a good amount of people where they're in a, that is there. Okay. Let's do a different time frame then. Let's let the persons who are involved, Minister mm -hmm. Babsy Grange, right? Big up, big up, big up Mama Grange. Yeah, we got to big her up. Zine? Yes. Because uh, she has, remember, she, she has first and experience with Shabarangs and, and, and other artists. So she knows, right? Mm -hmm. So let's put it this way. Make we carry it up to around nine o'clock in the morning. Then people are saying, yeah, yeah it's entertainment. Nine o'clock yeah, in the yes. nine o'clock in the Sunday morning, right? These events give them a different time. Make it be a festival. Make we enjoy our own culture, our own music, without the fussing and the fighting and the embarrassment at right. the end of the night. Babsy, as uh, somebody like this, you need to have on your entertainment board. All of the people them where you uh, put on board to eat out the free food. <laughs> And now uh, do the work. I'm telling you, if you do win the next election, we'll talk about that. You need to put on people on the board that actually can think for all Jamaica and look from it from a perspective of practicality. Exactly. And a world leader type we are brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they like to take the glory from mm -hmm. it. And then it's it's really us or the promoters that have to be fighting. There we, we go. Fight. I make it look like at this big party shop. Uh, yes. So may I go ask Babsy? It's long time we hear this. I may ask you for look on all of the platforms, and I want to every event promoter supposed to look over this side here. The entertainment feed community, that right for now. You see what time I clock, you see what time I knock. We are hurry and get the f out of here. And as usual, my people. Hey.